You probably have some awareness of the fact that carbon monoxide is a gas that can be dangerous if you breathe it. You may also be aware that it is carbon monoxide in engine exhaust that can make exposure to it dangerous. The purpose of this segment is to provide you with a basic understanding of the hazards of carbon monoxide and how to protect yourself against that hazard. Carbon monoxide is a gas that can be very dangerous, even fatal, if you breathe it in hazardous concentrations. Carbon monoxide has no color or odor, so you cannot see or smell it. Carbon monoxide is formed when fuel is burned and is caused by an incomplete burning of that fuel. The fuel may be natural gas, propane, gasoline, diesel, or almost any other fuel which is burned. The burning process could be, for example, a fireplace, an engine, or a furnace. It can also be created in arc welding and cutting, particularly if carbon dioxide shielding gas is used. We all breathe carbon monoxide from the exhaust of cars or other engine-driven equipment while at work, at home, or even walking on the sidewalk. The amount of carbon monoxide to which you are exposed in normal everyday life probably does not pose a serious risk to you unless you are in a situation in which the carbon monoxide is present in excessive concentrations in a poorly vented space. Examples of situations in which this might occur are an enclosed area, such as a garage or small shop in which an engine is running, such as a portable generator or a car. The level of carbon monoxide from the engine exhaust can build up to the point at which it begins to cause the symptoms as described above. If this occurs and you breathe the concentration that is high enough, it could result in serious injury or even death. You can determine if an exposure to carbon monoxide is hazardous by installing a carbon monoxide detector or by having a qualified person measure the level of carbon monoxide in the air with a meter designed for that purpose. You should have a carbon monoxide detector if there is any source of carbon monoxide in your home or workplace like a fireplace, engine-driven equipment, or vehicles, or furnace or hot water heater that is operated using a fuel that is burned such as wood, gasoline, diesel, or natural gas. For example, it is also a good idea to use equipment which burns a fuel which emits less carbon monoxide than gasoline engines, such as propane. The initial symptoms of low to moderate CO poisoning are similar to the flu, but without the fever. They include headache, fatigue, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness. High level CO poisoning results in progressively more severe symptoms including mental confusion, vomiting, loss of muscular coordination, loss of consciousness, ultimately death. Symptom severity is related to both the CO level and the duration of exposure. For slowly developing residential CO problems, occupants and or physicians can mistake mild to moderate CO poisoning symptoms for the flu, which sometimes results in tragic deaths. For rapidly developing high-level CO exposures associated with use of generators in residential spaces, victims can rapidly become mentally confused and can lose muscle control without having first experienced milder symptoms. They will likely die if not rescued. Fortunately, the steps you can take to protect yourself and your co-workers and family from the hazard of carbon monoxide are simple. 1. Be aware of situations in which carbon monoxide may be present in hazardous concentrations due to the burning of fuels, particularly when engine-driven welders, generators, or other equipment is being used. 2. Only operate engine-driven equipment outside where the exhaust cannot become concentrated. Never operate a portable generator or any other gasoline engine-powered tool either in or near an enclosed space such as a garage, house, or other building or near an air intake for an enclosed space. Even with open doors and windows, these spaces can trap CO and allow it to build lethal levels. 3. No one watch for the initial symptoms of overexposure to carbon monoxide, such as headache, nausea, fatigue, and dizziness, when working around engine-driven equipment. 4. If you believe you may be overexposed to carbon monoxide, do not try to determine the cause of the problem. Immediately go outside where you can breathe fresh air. Be sure that any other persons in the area also go outside. If you have any of these symptoms, immediately call 911 or seek medical attention. Do not return to the area until it has been confirmed that the level of carbon monoxide does not pose a health hazard.